What is up YouTube? Uh, today we're bringing you a review of the NES Dominator, which is actually quite sought after and I was able to get one. Uh, it is quite rare, which is cool, and also bad at the same time. Although I did pick up mine for uh, 30 or 40 dollars, I can't remember exactly, on eBay. But uh, it'll run you more than that now because they're about... Um, I saw one on there for 100 and then I saw one on there for 80 The, yeah, the $100 one had the box, and the 80 one was just like this. So uh, I was able to pick this up, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's a cool controller, and uh, what I'm going to be comparing it to today is the NES Advantage. Now, what the Dominator has that the NES Advantage doesn't is this cool thing called the Master Control. And uh, what it basically is, if you don't believe me, uh, here are the NES ports for it. Um, what you basically do is you plug it into the Dominator, and you put it on top of your Advantage. And there's this sensor on the Dominator right on the top, and that basically picks up any motion, or not motion, um, controls that you do on the Dominator. So it, you, what, apparently what it says is that you can play up to 18 feet away of your NES, which I don't really see why you'd need to do that, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, I play, um, it's going to be tough to illustrate this, but say I'm, say I'm sitting up on the, on the couch and uh, just, just hanging around, and I happen to just be uh, just playing my NES games on on my bed without any uh, stupid cables in my way and uh, it, it does it works it works perfectly up to 18 feet no it doesn't go up to 18 feet um, I've tried it it goes up to about 10 feet 10 feet is about its max um, is it a good purchase yes I recommend this purchase I've had a lot of fun now let's break out the advantage the uh, oh I better unravel this at one point, I had four of these things, and I'm like, "Well, I gotta get, I gotta get rid of some of these." So I traded it for a different arcade stick. Um, here's the NES Advantage. Here's the Dominator, almost the same size. The Dominator is obviously bigger, but um, they're basically the same thing. I mean, when you think about it. Um, if you are an arcade stick collector like me and my cousin, uh, where I have 12 arcade sticks now at this point, and finally I'm like, well, I gotta stop buying these arcade sticks, which I finally have. And uh, I, this, I'm glad that I was buying these when they were cheap, like 40, 50 dollars. But now they've skyrocketed in price, and um, it's going to be tough to find a good one for uh, at least one in good condition for uh, under 50 dollars. So. What it has is it has the, like I said, it has the turbo buttons, just like the NES Advantage. So, if you're like, well, I really have to get an arcade stick for um, NES to play games like um, Section Z, shooters for NES, if I really have to do this, then I need an arcade stick. Right. You you want to go with the NES Advantage, because you can you can buy these things for like $10, $15. Um, Whereas the Dominator will run you three times the price, at least. Um, is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. And what's cool about it, there's one more cool feature, is that actually on the sides of the Dominator, um, there are... Let's see here. There you go. Uh, there's extra... There's another controller port, and there's also another one on this side. So basically what you can do is you can plug in your NES controller, go 18 feet away, and be playing your NES on that. So what you do is you, you plug this in, um, put it on top of your, or no, you plug, um, if you want to use the Dominator, you plug the, uh, the master control into the, um, the NES. This, this camera is just driving me nuts. It's going mirror. These mirror images are driving me crazy. So you plug your your NES into uh, your NES master control into your NES, 
Dominator works fine. It should work fine as long as you battery it up. But what you can do is that there's this little dial. And what the dial does is you want to set it for um, you got your paddle, which is pretty rare. Um, your gun. This mirror is driving me crazy. And uh, your joystick, which is the dominator, and you can get your uh, your controllers in there and play your controllers from 18 feet away. Which, if you really want to do that, go ahead. Um, all of these buttons up here, uh, you got your start. Oh my goodness! Uh, you got your start, your select, and uh, oh my gosh, <sighs> gotta fix this. Um, and your interior and exterior, which. Um, is pretty self-explanatory if you actually own a Dominator. Um, so that's basically what the Dominator looks like. If you're an arcade stick collector, you like collecting arcade sticks, you you want to get this. I mean, it's it's a really cool piece. When people come into my game room, they go, "Whoa, Dominator! I've never heard that before." And uh, I found it. I was just searching arcade sticks, and uh, wow, it's storming outside. Um, I was just searching arcade sticks, and I actually. I found this one and I was like, well, I gotta have this. And uh, it was fun and uh, while, while I used it. And I still use it to this day. It's just, it's kind of annoying when I can just play my, um, my NES Advantage. Just plug it in, plug it in, go. But the Dominator, I gotta set it up. I gotta um, configure it to work with my joystick, not my NES controller. And I gotta plug in the stupid. Um, the master control for the the motion of the arcade stick to sense it, and it just gets it gets annoying after a while. So if you really want an arcade stick for um, NES to play games like Section Z, Guerrilla War, um, Commando, with some of the other common shooters, um, you definitely want to go for that. But if you are a cool arcade stick collector and you want a cool piece in your collection. Uh, go for the Dominator. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to be doing videos like this more often, hopefully. And uh, so, see you guys later.